what's this about a new division 2 update i think i am officially done with div 2 forever because of a leak about a new dlc which you have to pay for and also because of a level raise and more gear farming why well let me answer that question for you 70 to 80 percent of the player base are pve players they like the farming to our mindset pvp is end game you do all your farming and then you go into the dark zone that's how it's always been on division one the manhunt symbol that isn't farming missions is it so maybe they are working on the end game as well i don't mind paying for a new dlc the level 50 all right i'm happy with it because i don't really have any decent pieces I don't really play the game much. It doesn't really affect me at all. Yeah, I do. I do run a, a full red build and the attributes aren't maxed out. But for some people, the optimization station, how much effort, how much grind they had to do when the optimization was expensive and they fully optimize their gear. And only recently they reduced the price by 75%. A lot of people were triggered. Some of my friends were triggered. But after all of that, they're going to increase the level by one more time. It's good for me, but for most people who do play division on a daily basis it's not good news you're losing a lot of god rolls that you farmed ages for but why well that's how they make their money and they want people to continue farming they want people to continue playing their game if they make a dlc and they don't increase the, the level gap people won't play it as much it is a bummer for some of you guys but i'm, I'm totally up for it there is a picture so you can see who posted a picture. So what is this about hunters? So there will be new seasons and instead of manhunt, we'll have hunters and giving us a new backpack trophy and a mask. Okay. Why hunters? We won't spoil it for you guys. Okay. So here's the DLC story. There will be a continuation. Items and loot. Of course, there will be a plethora of new weapons, minimum 10 exotics at launch. So we'll get 10 exotic at launch and then there'll be more in the future. Okay, I hope they're not all like skill damage, like burning when you aim down the site. Look at this for example, yeah, I get a lot of people criticise me in my, I wouldn't say a lot of people, maybe one or two people commented on my video talking about the hazard protection, why I don't use it, when I'm in conflict I'm always burning, all I could do is change the loadouts. This is what you guys aren't realising. Yes, I have to farm for my pieces and I'm pretty sure I have a, like a 70% hazard build, but here's the problem, with the same build, all they need to do is change their skill to an explosive, like a mortar or an artillery to it. And what will happen then? I need explosive resistance. They should combine the explosive and the hazard together. You know the generic mods where you can put burn resistance? Get rid of all of that. Just give us a hazard protection generic mod. Just try and work something up so we can actually have some survivability. Because at the end of the day, if I have explosive resistance and hazard protection, I'm not going to kill anybody. Hazard protection generic mods would be great. I would like that. But you can't tell me to use hazard protection when they're just going to change their skills and completely counter me. I have to change my build for one person at the back of the line. Uh-uh. Forget that. I'd rather get countered by one person than get countered by a full server. I'm a PvP player, man. I'm, I'm into my PvP. I'm not trying to say I'm a PvE hater. You can't expect me to do the same mission for years. I can't do that. Do I have to delete all my level 40 gears after that? So to answer your question, no you don't. If you have an alt account, you can store all your level 40 gears on that account. And when you stay on that alt account, you can still play on a level 40 bracket. It's like when we upgraded from level 30 to level 40. You can still play on a level 30 bracket. He's one of those guys who spent a lot of time optimizing their gear. And people like him are going to be triggered. And I don't blame you. I would be the same as well. We'll be getting two modes for this new update. A survival and a PvP focused mode. Best news so far. This is what we've always wanted wasn't it this is really good news i don't know if this is gonna happen it hasn't been a state of the game for ages and i don't even watch it but you know people talk to me about it a pvp focus mode yo that would be freaking cool man you'll have to pay for the new dlc but look on a bright side at least we'll have much more content than last time much more content than last time i want a new dark zone dude you know what i'm saying g this is the thing massive could like do these leaks on purpose to get people talking around the community to make people want to jump in more it's, it's clever really that's what i would do if i was a gaming developer okay so this guy is like me he wants the level cap to be increased i don't mind it i'm happy with it it gives me something to do 
it's cool. If they can change the talents a little bit, the 511, they need to change that. There's a lot of different brands that they need to change. So the first one gives you crit damage, and then the second one gives you explosive. Where's the synergy there, you know? No one ever goes for two Grupo. Changing things like that would be cool. I would like that. Level 50 would be fine if there's a path to increase your current gear. 100% not regrinding gear for a third time. No way. You've been farming a lot, but having the ability to increase your gear, what logic is that? I don't agree with that, but I do I do feel your pain though. There will be a lot of people migrating to Outriders, that is for sure. I already did 1000 hours of farming and I hate the idea of a level 50 cap. 10 exotics in survival, calling BS. Uh, at Lyricor, thanks for the upload, appreciate all the work that goes into it and getting it out there for everyone. Appreciate that man, thank you. EB still locked being raid? Question mark. If it wasn't locked then no one would be doing a raid eagle bearer is okay foul with insync is better than the eagle bearer the eagle bearer is probably good for a secondary weapon when you're about to die and you headshot somebody you get the eagle bearer buff and then you can take a lot of people down with you before you die pretty cool mm, video tab let's see if anyone made uh oh okay year three was leaked oh okay is that godlike is that the guy i i uh fight with in the dark zone the really nice guy. The same for a lot of people. We all really care about this franchise. Otherwise, we it is him, man. It is him. Yo, man. Oh, man. Gotta show my brother some love. Coming back daily to play it. You won't have to wait too long as we will share more as soon as we can. Smash that bell. Tactical nuke that bell. As my friend Spooky says, please. And uh, this has been a, an amazing video, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna load into the game now. Probably gonna freeze. Survival mode would be amazing. I was using the Instinct Shield for my last video, dude. I am not gonna use that again. I felt really, really freaking powerful. I did say I wasn't gonna play, but I, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll just see what I can do. I'm not crashing anymore. And for the new update, if they can, like, do something with my SHD, give me a thousand. I'd be, I, I appreciate that, yeah? Because I'm, I'm lacking a lot of damage. So that would be kind of cool if you could do that for me, Massive. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go do some PvP, but I want to do it with an underrated gun. And I crashed. So it apparently it doesn't work. Um, I was going to, like, do some PvP, but... They still haven't fixed it, man. To prevent crashes, launch game with all overlays off. No OBS, nothing after some time. 10 to 20 minutes, you're safe to turn them back on one by one. I just ran the game for about five minutes and I crashed without having anything on. I didn't have any, I don't have any overlays. I didn't have OBS on. It just didn't work. I was just chilling there, waiting, making my build. Nothing on and I still crashed. Green, yellow, blue. I've always wanted that. But don't put something in the game if you can't handle it. For those who don't want to use a shield, give them like a bonus or something. It, it would make players like me play the game more. If you're trying to be a try-hard PvPer, it's pretty simple. Hide behind cover with a shield, wait for them to push in, use the EMP sticky, let them stagger, and melt the whole server. It is sort of a different video, but let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see more of these. Hey, look at him. Chilling. Chilling, yeah, chilling. What are you guys doing? I was trying to load on to Division early on, but it didn't work for me. I was looking at the leaks. There, there's a lot of leaks about survival and the level cap being increased to 50. I didn't watch those videos, but I saw a couple of thumbnails with new content, new stuff, new survival. But it's weird. It's a paid DLC. So I wonder how it's going to work. If you didn't buy the New York City DLC, but you buy the new one, you, would you go from 30 to 50? Yeah, you That's would, wouldn't That's a good question, you? yeah. It's kind of weird that they want to separate players, you know? They're doing it because they want people to farm more. If you're going to add a new DLC, new missions, but we have everything already, people aren't going to tend to stick around for longer. And that's why they're doing what they're doing, because they want people to keep playing the game more. I think it was possible to optimize your old level 30 gear. So a lot of people deleted their Eagle Barrier because it was pointless. It was a level 30. There's nothing they could do about it. But then later down the line, I think about a month later or two months later, they announced that, wait, actually, you can upgrade your level 30 Eagle Bearer to a level 40. So a lot yeah. of people were triggered because a lot of people at that time deleted their Eagle Bearer. They triggered a lot of people that way. And not only that, they triggered a lot of people by the ban wave they did because a lot of people were using a damage glitch. If I was in their shoe at the time, I wouldn't ban people, but I would get that shit fixed straight away. But they left it too long. They left it for like two weeks. But if it was yeah. just for a few hours or like a day for that matter, it's not really a big deal. The ban wave killed most of the people who were playing. 
because everyone was using it. Luckily, I wasn't the one who were using it, and I didn't get a, a rollback. I didn't lose anything. Are you gonna buy the UDLC or? Uh, it depends on the on the on the trailer and what they're gonna um, how they're gonna advertise the game. But because I'm a I'm a content creator on that game, then yeah, most likely I'm gonna buy it. I ain't a rapper, but I ain't afraid of trying Right now, swear down, I feel electrifying Dying on a game, not my specialty I pick up my glove. Everybody's dead, 